All right, um, I found this in something I ripped apart. I forget what it was. It is a uh, four-character display, dot matrix, uh, five by seven, I believe. We can count them. Um, it is a Siemens PD two four three seven. Um, I'm not familiar with this part. Um, I am familiar with some um, parts similar to this that uh, I worked on while I was at Hewlett Packard Opto Electronics Division in the way back days. Um, they were also four by um, four digit five by sevens. I think it was a 2416 part, um, if I remember the part number right. Um, they were pretty popular. Uh, they were uber expensive though, and I think they are still uber expensive, so I definitely want to uh, save this thing and uh, put it to use. So I thought I'd um, uh, take a look at it. I believe this um, particular part is a high brightness green um, from the part number. And I thought I would... Uh, wire it up to an Arduino and uh, see if I can make it work. Now these things are kind of from the way back days, so they're not I squared C or anything like that. They are 8-bit parallel, um, so they're very retro. So you have 8 bits of data, you have three address lines, uh, I think you have two chip selects, you have a clock signal, they look very much like uh, something you'd see in the 8080 days. Um, so uh, it's going to eat up quite a few pins on the Arduino, probably about, um, oh, 12, no, more than that. Oh, my goodness. Maybe 16 pins off of the Arduino to make this thing work. Um, I could hook it up to a shift register to to make it, uh, make it look like it's a serial part, but I think that's probably not really necessary for what I'm trying to do. So, uh, let's, uh... Let's put it under the microscope and take a, a little bit closer look at these uh, look at look at these LEDs. All right, uh, we can see here uh, the individual LEDs. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So five by seven, and there are four of them. Um, and so this is a. Uh, I get a little old school. It's um, individual LED die. Uh, they are uh, bonded down to the gold substrate, and then uh, they're wire bonded uh, in in a, a string. Um, so you definitely can select a row and column and light it up. So they are multiplexed. Um, let's see if we can't um, zoom in farther. Let me resume the uh, resume the microscope here. All right, there we go pretty close. You can see the end of the wire bond there on those pads at the top. And then they are just in a string. And then the substrate is just a little PC board, a gold-plated PC board. See some vias there. Uh, yeah, that's kind of fun. Let's uh, find something to wire this up and um, write a program. Let's see if we can talk to it. Alright, here's a board that I designed quite a while ago. Um, 2016. Uh, there's uh, a couple boards here that's of interest. Um, this board, you have to slice these up on the bandsaw. Uh, so this little board here is an, um, a, a Tiny 85. And the 85 lives here. It's an 8-bit part. There's a reset button, there's a voltage regulator, uh, some places for LEDs, and then a little prototyping area over here. Um, so we could use that. Uh, would fit the, uh, put, fit that, but that's, uh, the 80, uh, the Tiny 85 is a bit limited. Um, over here is a little section, uh, slice it here, uh, for an Arduino Nano. So the Nano would sit here. And all those lines are brought out. And then there's a prototyping area over here. 
Uh, places to add some switches. Uh, break, breaks out the I squared C. We're not going to use that. Um, or maybe we will. Um, anyway, uh, not on this, but uh, we could add another part. Um, like a, uh, an ADD and turn this into a little voltmeter or something. We could do fun things like that. But it has the, uh, the place for the nano. And uh, so I think, I think we'll use this. Um, and go ahead and uh, wire it up. All right, if you're not familiar with the nano, um, it is a uh, uh, 320, oh, shoot, I can't remember the darn number. It is an Atmel Mega AT Mega uh, 328P. So it's it's the same chip that's used on the Arduinos. It's just uh, in a smaller package. It does have the um, this one has a uh, CH340 uh, um, uh, serial to uh, serial interface chip. Um, has a reset button. It has a, uh, a voltage regulator. If you want to feed this higher, higher voltages, and so that's going to uh, there'll be this little uh, um, standoff uh, Why isn't it going in the hole? Come on, you can do it. There we go. And then the little. Uh, little part will sit on top like that and uh, then we'll have access to all of the pins to solder to and then the uh, we'll find some little socket strips or something for this and we'll set it on the other side here and that will be our project um, yeah. all right there's a uh, a uh, couple surface mount parts, uh, the way I laid out this board. Uh, there's a, a part, place for uh, a couple capacitors here. Uh, one across the voltage raw before the regulator and then one for uh, five volts after the regulator. So we'll go ahead and load those on. And then uh, there's a little spot here for a 4K, 4.7K pull-up and another 4.7K pull-up on the I squared C lines. So I'll go ahead and load those now in case I want to use those in the future. Um, there's also an area over here for some uh, LEDs. Um, on the back side there's resistors and on the front side are the LEDs. I'm not going to use those, so I'm not going to load those. Uh, nothing over here, so anyway, we'll get these uh, surface mounted and uh, then uh, start putting in some through hole parts. Okay, um, so here's uh, our soldering. Uh, these are the 4.7Ks on the pull-ups for the I2C, clock and data. And then here are the two capacitors that go onto the uh, raw and uh, 5 volts. Um, so they, uh, they came out pretty good. Alright, so I have the uh, Nano uh, attached and all the pins are available. Um, it does bring the 5 volts and ground out to uh, uh, out to these lines here, so it brings it out to the prototyping area. I uh, used a little uh, round pin uh, socket header for the uh, for the display, so I can take that out and uh, just solder this in. So uh, now all we have to do is figure out how to wire this thing up. Uh, let's see here. Zoom out. This is a, a Nano, if you haven't seen one. Um, has a bunch of pins that do different things. Um, I've decided to use the, uh, there's um, uh, actually some uh, ports and registers inside the uh, uh, Atmel part. And there's some uh, D registers. Uh, so I'm going to use the D registers, D0 through 7 for the data. And then I think I'm using the uh, C register for the others. Um, this is the, uh, the actual part, the uh, 2437. Um, and 
here's the uh, pinout configuration. Let's see here. So I'm going to use the uh, the D registers for the data bus, and then uh, B0, 1, and 2 for the addressing. B3 for the read. B4 for the write. B5 for the reset. And I'm going to hardwire the um, chip selects to always enable the part. And uh, power and ground. So it's pretty easy. All right. I hope I got that right. <laughs> uh, so we have the uh, nano and the uh, part. And it is all wired up. Uh, so we can start developing some program for it.